in Karen, where we have been informed uh, in one of the gated estates along this road, the lawyer Paul Gisheru, who was an ICC suspect, breathed his last earlier today. This has been confirmed by family sources. This has been confirmed by police sources as well. Uh, we were actually hoping that by the time you came to us, the police who are currently within the uh, boundaries of that gated estate, and we saw them going in, we saw their vehicles. We've also seen family members and friends accessing uh, this gated estate as well. We were hoping they would be able to give us some sort of official statement, uh, but we have been able to speak to family sources, police sources. They have confirmed that the lawyer who leapt to the headlines in November 2020 when he surrendered himself to the Hague-based court at the Netherlands, we are told he has breathed his last. And just to give you a bit of context, uh, Trevor Mbija, in 2020s when Kenyans really got to know a lot more about lawyer Paul Agisheru when he surrendered to that court as per an ICC arrest warrant, uh, Trevor. In addition, four days later, he then appeared before that court uh, for the first time. And uh, we then know that about a year later, on the 1st of February 2021, actually a couple of months later, he was released and handed over to Kenyan authorities uh, to come back to Kenya with restrictions that the government was then given. Uh, on the 15th of February 2021, lawyer Paul Gisheru, uh, in terms of his matter, the ICC pre-trial chamber actually confirmed the charges of offence brought to him by the prosecutor and of course he had been accused uh, out of the eight counts the major one was on the bribery of witnesses uh, in a previous matter uh, and that's what he was defending himself against now if i take you very quickly trevor to uh, june just this year where both the prosecution and the defense in that particular matter at the hague based court made their final submissions and they left the matter in the hands of the court which is yet to deliver a verdict to date now in his submissions just to Quickly jog your memories, lawyer Gishero asked the court to dismiss the charges against him or the case against him, while the prosecution at that point called for a guilty verdict on all eight counts that the lawyer faced. And the information, just to tell some of our viewers who may have just joined us that we have received, we're here in Karen along Miotoni Road and in a gated estate not too far from here. We are told that the lawyer breathed his last. Uh, we've heard this from family sources. We've heard this from police sources. And actually, we spent a better part of the last 40 minutes at the entrance to that gated estate where there was quite some activity. We saw police vehicles accessing the location, uh, family uh, members and friends, at least. You know, that's what they told us in passing as they were uh, going in. Uh, we also at one point witnessed an ambulance, you know, being driven out. Um, they were not uh, able to, or they rather chose not to give us more details um, at this time. And uh, there was quite some activity um, if we'd been able to, to catch up with you about 30 minutes ago or so. At the moment, it's all quiet. We are waiting so for that official statement from the police who are actually within the vicinity of uh, that gated estate uh, but we have spoken uh, to various uh, police sources and family sources and they have confirmed uh, that indeed this is what happened that the lawyer uh, breathed his last earlier today in Karen, where we have been informed uh, 